Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about how to construct a Turing machine. This is very very lengthy video. Please watch it multiple times until you get clarity. Please watch it till the end. The, and you, you need to understand what's the components that are present in the Turing machine, how it are moving to one step left and right. All these discussions were made in our last class. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, let's take an example and understand how we construct a Turing machine for the language L is equal to strings containing palindromes where sigma is equal to 0, 1. Palindromes means we already know what palindromes means. So let's take the, this is the finite tape symbol of the Turing machine. On the uh, tape, on the memory, we are having the inputs 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. This is a palindrome and this is an even palindrome. So how to construct a Turing machine for this even, pa even palindrome and odd palindrome? Any palindrome can be accepted. We will understand one by one. First, we will understand for even palindrome. First, then we go for the odd palindrome. So, how to write the logic? We will understand. Then we will, we will go and construct the Turing machine. See, let's take. A, we discussed that in our last class. When if you on Turing machine, the Turing machine starts execution from here. See, it starts from here. Initially. The finite control starts from here. What's the input symbol it has seen? Zero. So what we are doing here is uh, we are taking a logic like this. Uh, if you find zero, we replace it as X. In order to remember that uh, we have already seen zero. That's why we are converting it into X. So whenever you find zero, convert it into X. After that, after converting it to X, we have to move either left side or right side. We are moving to the right hand side. So now, what's the logic for palindrome? That is what you have to understand. If the first one is zero, the last one should be zero. If the second one is zero, the from last to second should be zero. Third one is one, from last to third one should be one. Then we can say it, it as a palindrome. So now, in order to check that uh, the first bit is zero, we have to move to the last bit and we have to check for it is zero or not. So now we have to move right side till the end of the string. How to move that? Uh, take a, uh, So we replace it zero with the X after we move to one step to the right. Now we can move right side, right side, right side right side right side whenever you see blank what's the meaning of that input is over whenever you see input is blank up to that you have to move right side means we are moving till the end of the string whenever you see blank move to left side so whenever the input is blank we are moving back to left side now if you find 0 convert it into x so first 0 we converted it into x last 0 we converted into x this process should be repeated this process should be repeated now at what position we are in we are in at this position so whenever you see 0 convert it into x and move left side from here we have to move till the other end why we have to move till the other end because the first zero we converted into x last zero we converted into x we have to repeat this process for all the all the inputs next input should be this one if it is zero convert it into x move till this end second zero convert it into x so on so on so now we have to move back again back again how long we have to move so move left move left move left move left whenever you find x you, you may find x you may find or y why because it is not mandatory to have zero in the first position if it is one the last one should be one then we will convert this one into y that's why we are using two symbols 
for 0 we, we are using symbol x for 1 we are using a y this is how we have to construct the logic for Turing machine now we have to move left 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 whenever you see x yes now we have to move right whenever you see x we have to move right now we are at the position this one okay at this position if you find 0 what we have to do we have to convert it into x and move right side at this position so now if you find 1 keep it as 1 and move right if it is 1 keep it as 1 move right if it is 0 keep it as 0 move right now we found x here so the first time we have seen blank second time we have seen x means we have to move till the right side until the input is over how we know that the input is over either you can see blank symbol or you can see x symbol or you can see y symbol based on the previous changes if the first input symbol is 1 and the last input symbol is 1 what will be there here y will be there so based on the previous input symbols previous symbols you may find blank you may find x you may find y so we have to repeat this we move till this till the last uh, last bit and then go to left side if it is 0 convert it into x and move left so we have to move back again we have to move back until you find x or y because these two symbols are over no need to move beyond this so we have to move until x and move right side we found it as 1 1 means we will convert it as y we will apply y whenever you find y then move to right side we convert it into y this is how we will convert whenever you find that okay all are equal it should be accepted this is the logic to construct we will do one more example we will do one more example for better practice okay so we start from here first symbol is 1 what we have to do we have to convert this into y we converted it into y after that we have to take one step to the right if you see 0 keep it as 0 move one step if it is 0 keep it as 0 move one step if it is 0 keep it as 0 move one step if it is 0 keep it as 0 move one step if it is 0 keep it if it is 1 keep it as 1 move one step if it is blank keep it as blank but move left now where we have stopped we have stopped at 1 if it is 1 convert it into y and move left so now we are at this position at this position if it is 0 we have but we we should not change this now 0 move one step left 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 why yes stop it because input is over only middle part input is left remaining two inputs input symbols we already changed so whenever it is y stop move right now we will be at this position if you find it as 0 convert it into x and move right again we have to move till the end if it is 0 keep it as 0 move right 0 keep it as 0 move right side 0 keep it as 0 move right side why yes means end of the input input is over we already changed some of the input that is that uh, that has also occurred whenever you find y or x step keep it as y and move left so the x we have found now we are at this position if it is 0 convert it into x so how many input symbols up to now we have converted first input symbol second input symbol last input symbol and last before input symbol now 
from here we are moving back again move back if it is zero keep it as zero move back left zero keep it as zero move left next whenever you are at this position x x means keep it as x move right side and now we will be at this position if it is zero convert it into x and then move till until you find x or y or blank then go to left now we will be at this position convert zero convert it into x so this is what see st now input is over after converting this into x we will move to left side whenever you find on the left side if you find it as x means input is over so this is one of the condition for even palindrome we are converting first symbol last symbol second symbol last before symbol if the input is over yes it is accepted that is the condition for the even palindrome now try to understand the logic for odd palindrome also so take example as a, this is the odd palindrome 0 0 1 1 0 Oh, no this is not the this is the example for the odd palindrome 10101 we start from y here blank should be there we start from, whenever you see 1 convert it as y move till blank going back if it is 1 convert it into y move till back until you found y so if it is 0 convert it into x move till front until you find y or x then we will take one step left convert it into x move till back until you find x now the input is 1 convert it into convert it into y there is no matching y for the odd palindrome for the middle one so we will whenever we convert this into y we will move right side but we will find it as x yes stop it there it's enough it is also accepted that's why odd palindrome we have to in the middle if you find one either you can find one or you can find zero whatever you find convert it into y if you move right side if there is no input symbol matching uh, matching found it is accepted we have to write the logic for all these conditions how to write that how to construct that we will understand step by step okay, coming to the construction of the turing machine this is a how we will construct the turing machine for the palindrome the, but this is the half of the logic we have constructed logic for only accepting zeros but we can extend this at the end of this video we will extend this for both one and zero so let's try to understand step by step what's this meaning is take the input symbol zero zero one one zero zero this is the input symbol we have taken and step by step we will start from the q naught state so first thing we the input starts from here means our control starts from here on q naught if you see the input 0 that is what the meaning of this if you see the input 0 convert it into x and which side we have to move we have to move right side this is what this says on q not if you see the input symbol 0 we will convert it into x and we will move to right side means here what it's saying so the input symbol is 0 we converted into x and we move to right side we moved up to here now where is the finite position is is it on this input symbol 0 so once we find that the first one is 0 what we have to do we have to move till the end we have to move till until you found blank symbol in order to do that logic separate state has been considered what's that state q1 state 
that's why on q naught if you see the input symbol 0 we are uh, converting it to x and moving right side and moving to state q1 see the the logic on q1 what we have to write the logic if you see the input symbol 0 keep it as 0 and move right simply keep keep it as 0 and move right side now where we are at on this one if you see the input symbol 1 simply keep it as 1 and move right side now we are at this position at this position if you see the input symbol 0 move right side keep it as 0 move right side if you see the input symbol 0 keep it as 0 move right side that's why we have taken one extra state on q naught if you see the input symbol 0 moving to q1 state because if we convert this into the x after that we have to apply a different logic up to how long we have to move so keeps on moving until you see blank in the first situation you may see blank if it is blank keep it as blank but move left whenever you are at this position we are moving left so where are you now we are at zero we are at this position on this position last input symbol position so we are moving to q2 state so from q1 state to q2 when we are going to move whenever we move till the end how we know that it is end either you can see blank symbol or you can see x symbol or you can see y symbol this intuition we already provided uh, you may see first time we may see blank symbol second time we may see x, x or y based on the inputs so now we are at this position 0 on q2 because where how, how you will approach this state q2 on seeing the input symbol 0 we converted it to x after that moving till the end we we came to q2 state so on q2 state you have to see only 0 because we will come up to this state by in order to check the 0 at the end that's why if you find the input symbol 0 convert it into x and move left now we are at this position so that's why we are coming to q3 state on q3 state again 0 keep it as 0 move left 1 keep it as 1 move left 1 keep it as 1 move left 0 keep it as 0 move left until you found x or y again we have to move to the front for that we are using q3 state so q1 state q3 state why we are using that q1 state is using move, moving towards right side q3 state is using to moving towards left side that's why if you find one keep it as one move left zero keep it as zero move left means we are keeps on moving back we we'll keep on moving back we will come here we will come here we will come here until how long we have to come back whenever you find x again come back to q naught again come back to q naught repeat the process repeat the process this is how we have to construct now whenever you found x keep it as x and move right side we are taking different color so again we will be at this position so we are at the state q naught if you find zero keep it as convert it as x move right convert it as x move right side again move till end same process again we will convert this as x again come back when again we will come back to this position we found one means here we have to write one more logic for one see half of the logic has been con completed what's this half of the logic is saying that zero move till the end convert the zero again front next symbol last to second symbol 
like that we are taking a means for for first symbol we go to the last symbol and convert for again come to the front for second symbol I convert go to the last before symbol and again convert third symbol go to the last before third symbol and again convert this is the process this this is half of the part of the logic this logic is going to check only for zeros okay and uh, you have to understand one more conditions for the same input uh, for the same construction we have to understand two more conditions uh, when we have to stop uh, if it is even palindrome we are going to stop if it is odd palindrome we are going to stop how to stop that uh, we'll understand then then we complete the remaining diagram let's try to understand uh, see this part this logic we already explained so let's take the input symbols 0 0 0 0 means blank before blank before what's this part of the logic is doing whatever the blue line we have mentioned what's this part of the logic is doing it is converting it as x moving till blank convert it into x moving till front take this one convert it into x moving go back and convert this into x if you come back from here we are coming back so we are moving to right side this position what's remain there x whenever you see on q naught whenever you complete this is an even palindrome example so on q naught if you see x keep it as x and write moving to the final state on q naught if you see y or y move to the right and accept it as a go to the final state this is how we accepted the even palindrome let's take the example of odd palindrome 0 0 0 0 0 b b this is odd palindrome convert it to x x move till the end take this into x again come q naught we move till this position now we are at this position again q naught going to check for x moving till the end for that we are using this logic again convert this into x again move back up to here and then now we are at this position means q naught again convert 0 0 into x after that we have to move this side is there anything remain no nothing is remain so on q naught if you find the input symbol 0 and if the in, we will convert it into x and we are moving to q1 state after that what we are going to find x x means what we have to do we have to move to q2 state and move left on q2 we are not going to see zero if you find zero move to this side otherwise move to final state it is accepted so that's why this is also accepted this condition this this is used to check the even palindrome condition this is used to check the odd palindrome condition when we will be at this state q2 by by looking at one input symbol zero after looking at the one input symbol zero we will be at this position after that no symbol has been seen zero is not there because this is the middle one middle one so that's why we are moving to if you find x or y move to q10 state q10 is taken as a final state we are moving to so now we understand how to write the conditions for odd and even palindromes now we will combine the final diagram this is our final diagram see here the orange the violet part is for constructing for accepting the strings of zeros if the first one is zero and last one is zero this is this part is used to we already explained this and the, the same way on q naught if you find one convert it into y and move to other direction the same logic uh, q1 the same way q4 is used for uh, moving towards 
right side and after moving to q5 if you find a 1 convert it into y and again move to left side so this is q3 is used to move to left side q4 is used to move to right hand side the same logic same logic whatever we have constructed here the same logic repeated this side so the so after that if you find till the end again come to q naught if it is 1 move this side if it is 0 move this side this point we already discussed in finite automata when we discussed about our condition either this condition or this condition yes this side is checking for the zero condition this side is checking for one condition the same apply this is the total diagram this is the total diagram for accepting the even or odd palindrome in turing machine so take a look at this you you can you try to construct on your own that is the best practice you will get uh, different uh, questions and uh, uh, when when you during your practice you will get many multiple uh, multiple situations will be come into your mind uh, think about it and check the solution and again practice it this is how you have to do it if you practice this one example you can construct any turing machine easily Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.